Hey everyone, so if you've been following along on the Trans Am build, you know that we were replacing the floor. And I needed to access the underside of the floor. I don't have a ton of room in my shop for a traditional rotisserie, so I'm building a tip over jig that will do the same thing I need. I start by separating the body from the subframe. I then welded some eyelets in the corners of the car and attached some taut string from opposite end to opposite corner. This will let me know if anything gets out of whack or out of square on the body as I'm tilting it. To get the car where I want it to sit, I make sure it's level, then take measurements for the jig. I'm mounting this to the original subframe mounts since they are boxed and have enough structure to hold the weight of the car. Next I'll build the leg that the car will sit on when tipped over and cut the wooden roller to fit. Instead of having the leg at a perfect 90 degrees, I put mine at about 85, which will make it rest a little more securely on its side. Make sure everything is braced, then did some painting, then mounted the roller. I used seven half inch by three inch long bolts to mount the wooden rollers to the steel frame. Now that the frame is mounted, I repeat for the rear. There was no subframe mount back there, obviously, so I used the original bumper brackets on the rear body panel. And with that, I can tip the Trans Am over and keep on working. <laughs>